we've all heard about regular exercise for your body. So who works out? Pretty much everyone, right? You play sports. Okay, okay. You play sports, right? You work out? Playing a sport is working out. So how do you how do you feel after you work out? Or how do you, how do you feel after you play a sport? You feel good? good? There are other certain things that we can do for our mind that will have greater benefits. So what's what are some things you guys think that will help you exercise your mind? Meditating? Okay. Yoga, chess. Oh, chess is a good one. Coloring. Who reads? Who likes to read? Oh my God! Music. There you go. Okay. You can close your eyes if you want. You can keep them open. I'm gonna give you instructions. That will be sir. You're gonna breathe in for four seconds, right? You're gonna hold it for four seconds, and then you'll release from your mouth for four seconds. So in through your nose for four, hold for four, release for four. And we're gonna do that for four sets. All right, and I'll give you I'll give you guys a count. So you, you can close your eyes, you can leave them open, whatever you want. Put your head down if you want. So ready. See, and that's where we get a misconception about meditation. You don't necessarily have to clear your mind when you're meditating. And you don't necessarily have to participate in this particular activity to meditate. You guys listed off music, you guys listed off drawing, coloring, writing, uh, playing sports. These are all different forms of meditation. When you find yourself in meditation is when you find yourself completely in one moment. And the more we focus on what happened back a few hours or a few days ago, the more we'll be stuck there, instead of thinking about what we can do to progress right now, to better our future. Because again, our future is never promised. In order to alter that future, we got to do what is in the now. Fabulous! I got it! That's beautiful! Oh my god, it's beautiful! So cool. Now you can see what I wrote! Hey! Oh, thank you! Why are you writing like that? Because you don't be really good! Hello? That's beautiful! There you go! So when people say like they're ambidextrous, meaning they can use both hands, like sometimes people, you know, usually are naturally like that, but you can train your mind to be able to use both parts of your body that aren't being used to being used. Like when we first start playing basketball, right? Mm -hmm. You can only use one hand. Yeah. And when you challenge certain things in your mind, that helps it grow, right? We're going to use our memory to draw a bird's eye view of our neighborhood. Oh, oh, my girl. girl. My 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 girl. <laughs> oh, okay. This is a train track? It goes to show that sometimes the things that we encounter on an everyday basis, like our neighborhood, are sometimes very hard to recall. But other times, we got great memories. And we can just draw it right on a piece of paper. So this, this again, exercises your mind for better memory for better understanding, for better awareness of your surroundings. <laughs> Are these groups even? Because if there are certain areas of your life where you want to, you know, fix upon or get better in, the first place we need to start with is the foundation. Is the mind. We have to start at the foundation if we want to change something. So if you're dealing with anxiety, if you're dealing with overthinking, um, anything, depression, 
Maybe you you get a, a little jealous about something. Maybe you second guess yourself. If that's an area, or maybe you're trying to, you know, progress in an area, right? get better at a sport, start your own business, get better at making music, right? Drawing, whatever the case might be. Past high school, getting to college. We gotta start at the foundation. So like, all right, wait, okay, all right, okay, cool. What can I do today that'll help me over the long term? And that's exercising your mind. Once you exercise your mind, you begin to start to manifest physically. What I mean by manifest, I mean you get to bring it into your life physically. Once we put something into our mind, we can then start to take action towards making it into an actual reality. And that concludes our four-week workshop series, The Progressive Mind. Again, today's topic was exercise for the mind. So again, we just went over briefly what exercise for the mind was. For the students, um, obviously we all know what regular exercise is. And we helped them, you know, expand their mind on what exercise for the mind was. And we had them participate. <laughs> participate in a few activities. Uh, the first activity we had them do was a short meditation, just real quick. Um, four sets of um, inhale for four seconds, hold for four seconds, and then exhale for four seconds. I had them do that four times. And then we had them write with their opposite hand to, uh, to challenge a different part of their brain. Um, we had them write their name, write sentences with their opposite hand, and uh, see how they compared to that. Another activity we had them do was draw a bird's eye view of their neighborhood. So we literally had, gave them a piece of paper, pens, markers, and we had them draw a bird's eye view of what their neighborhood looked like. This challenged their memory to see if, you know, everyday things that they encounter on a daily basis, like their neighborhood, their home, the area. Um, we wanted to challenge their memory and their, their spatial awareness. And then our last activity was a game I found online where they were all interconnected by the arms, shoulder by shoulder, and um, they each crossed their arms over each other and they had to connect with someone else. And they had to get untangled without disconnecting their arms. And we had two groups. Unfortunately, one group gave up, and I was like, all right, that's fine. But one group persevered, battled through it, and they finally untangled themselves, which was amazing because I had no idea what the pattern was to untangle them. I had, I was looking at my brother and I was like, I have no idea like what these, yeah, I really didn't know. What these, I, I was, they're like, can you give us hints? And I was like, oh, maybe you should do this. And I was like... But what we did do was encourage them. We were like, hey, you're super close. And we're like... Uh. Right, right. We had no idea if they were actually close. But they're like, hey, you're extremely close. And I was, I was doing my best to help them out. Like, oh, maybe if you do this, maybe if you do that. And then eventually they finally made it out. Um, and this helped them with the team building, teamwork, and uh, just overall finding a solution in a uh, in a difficult situation. But this four workshop series has been awesome. I was super, super privileged and grateful that ST Philosophy has allowed me to, you know, host these four workshop series. You know, they entrusted me, they believed in my ability to present and impact on the youth. And I, I, I hope I delivered, did I deliver? You, you more than delivered, man. You did incredible. Um, you know, Ty Speaks, it, it's content, especially when it's live and upfront, is just pure, genuine, and real. Um, and that's, that's exactly why we invested in what Ty Speaks has to offer because it's just, it's phenomenal work. And uh, I'm just grateful we've been able to work with him. And it's just, it's just been awesome. Thanks, bro. And again, shout out to s &T for allowing me to host this four-week workshop series, The Progressive Mind. And um, just real quick, week one was overthinking. Week two was stepping out of your comfort zone. Week three was emotional intelligence. And today, week four was exercise for the mind. Don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah.
Uh, stay, stay on point. Stay. Oh, stay dang. on point. Mm. I was gonna say it. Stay. I was gonna say stay peaceful. Fuck. Stay on point. Stay on point in this peaceful, chaotic world. Peacefully. So that concludes today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you learned something from it. And um. Give it a like if you liked it. Leave a comment down below and let me know what's something that you do to exercise your mind. And of course, if you're new to Thai Speaks and you're someone who wants to build a better mindset, build a better understanding of yourself, and just overall become more in tune with your emotions, your surroundings, and become more self-aware, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more videos just like these. And as always, stay we just went over it. I know. Stay on point. Stay on point in this peacefully chaotic world. I got it.